So good evening wherever you are. This is Sarah Kali and I hope you're watching me um, and having a fine time as you are. Today what I want to talk about is having a conqueror's attitude towards life and what is a conqueror's attitude you might be wondering. It is the attitude that allows us to get over our battles that we encounter every single day. It is the attitude that lets us become successful um, in situations or in positions where others are failed. It is the attitude that allows us to become a better version of ourselves, even to ourselves. And um, let me put this into context. Now we go through life and what we encounter is we meet people who are already prejudiced against us. For whatever reason, um, they find a rumor or someone said something to them or they just don't like you when they look at you or probably you said a particular statement that didn't fit into their own um, principles or their own core um, interpretation of life. And instead of engaging you, and discussing and knowing the kind of person you are, discovering the kind of um, thoughts that you might be possessing, they conclude and put, try to put you into boxes. And they try to limit you and, and become so opinionated that they see you in a very, very negative light. Now, those people will uh, try to project all those negativities, those, all those bad emotions and all those bad thoughts um, and put them into action. And how they do that is by becoming obstacles to you. They will either try to be rude to you. They will either try to create conflict between you and other people. And most times we, we fall for that. But what is very important here is how you react to how they act towards you. You can choose to rise above. You can choose to ignore them. You can choose to actually not just engage them. But if you do need to engage them, if you do need to talk, if you do need to prove a point to them to say, this is the kind of person I, I, I am, if you need to engage them, do so in a way that benefits you. Do so in a way that um, ultimately leads towards them respecting you more um, after discovering the kind of person you are instead of confirming the kind of negative thoughts that they had about you. Now, you cannot please everybody, so you have to remember that. But you can go a long way towards showing that I'm not the kind of person you thought I am if you had only bothered to engage me. You, you can choose to rise above. When they go low, you choose to go high. When they abuse you, you can choose not to respond. It doesn't mean that you cannot stand up for yourself. It doesn't mean that you cannot fight. It doesn't mean that you cannot abuse. It just means that you know the kind of person you are and you value yourself. You just don't want to engage in such acts. So you always need to remember that whatever you do, it should be something that adds to your value. It should be something that um, contributes to the kind of person you want to become not the kind of person you were in the past or not the kind of person that confirms the negative thoughts that um, people who are not really your friends or people who are not really who do not really matter had about you you have to always always keep your eye on the ball always remember that you need to conquer and that's the conqueror's attitude i hope you have a lovely weekend this is what i wanted to share with you bye